All right, we got the version 9.1 out as of now, both on Android uh, platform and iOS. So uh, it's a version 9.1. We got a new Formula One circuit, as you can see here, Singapore's Marina Bay Street Circuit. Um, so this is gonna be the venue for one of the two final uh, 2020 Formula One season events so so far we've done seven so two remaining ones we got this new one at singapore and uh i think this one out of the two uh that's left in the season this one's gonna be the first one and then the last one for the year is gonna be the austin track uh circuit of the americas the u.s grand prix right so anytime we get a new circuit that's very exciting. So we've had um, Monaco circuit added in the last year as uh, I guess it, what that was the yeah. So and then this year we're kicking off with uh, another new Formula One circuit in the form of this uh, street circuit, Marina Bay. So that's pretty cool. Feeling comfortable behind the wheels of a Formula One car? Put your uh, driving skills to the test and take on Singapore's notoriously challenging Marina Bay Street Circuit. Of course, I'm sure we'll be seeing this circuit in the cycle of uh, daily races. So before this event actually starts, we'll have some opportunity to um, drive in the circuit and I believe the this new circuit is also added to the champion series and I'm gonna go on a hunch and say it's gonna be added to the invitational as well so um, invitational of course if you have access to it you will have access to all tiers uh, without unlocking one tier at a time so if you have any of the drivers from 2020 season fully upgraded then you will have access to this uh before the event starts that's my guess um and uh, what kind of tuning setup should you be using to take on this one um my guess would be the monaco setting might be the closest one to the marina bay we'll see uh since it's you know heavy on heavy emphasis on grip and acceleration and not as heavy on the top speed you know the street circuits you know how things go so yeah uh, and if you don't have any invitational available then the other option would be either uh, daily race uh, but you know then you get access to it one day and then you have to wait for the cycle to complete till the next time when the you know circuit is available for daily race or uh champion series if you own any of the 2020 season cars of course you have access to the champion series but that one you have to unlock tier by tier and my guess is this event or this circuit is going to be tagged on at the very far end so if you have 100 percent completed the champion series in prior to this version 9.1 then you will have access to this right away so yeah make your way through that uh, that's the probably the cheaper way to test things out all right and by the way the basically the formula one uh, Singapore Grand Prix event is gonna be starting not right away this one starts on the January 21st so we have essentially more or less like a, about 10 days before the first Grand Prix so and it does have uh, I believe a PR requirement sort of like the majority of the Oh no, this one does not have a PR requirement. This one is a recommended PR event. It's the American Grand Prix, the US Grand Prix, that's gonna have the set PR requirement. So technically, um, you can complete this event without buying anything, technically. <laughs> um, with a big caveat being how, you know, depending on how good you are. So, and 
So that's why I think it's uh, nice. It'll be good to kind of, you know, study the circuit a bit prior to starting this uh, special event so you can learn the track better. I will certainly be doing that. So, um, yeah. So, and uh, of course, if you complete the event, this is a seven day event. So if you complete the event within seven days, most likely going to be seven stages as well. Um, sort of like I'm, I'm comparing it to the Austrian Grand Prix, which was also seven stage event. And that one did not have any uh, PR requirement. So now that um, at this point in uh, Real Racing 3, I feel like with the Formula 1 2020 season, you probably have, um, if you've completed all the Formula 1 events up till this point, you probably have a couple of teams with the driver level that is uh, higher than one, as in you've spent some gold in uh, upgrading those drivers. Not necessarily fully upgrading, but partially upgraded. At least that's the case in my garage. So my guess is running one of those racers probably would be the smartest way to go about it because you already have a, a little bit of an edge. You have a higher, you've already invested into those um, racers. So you will have your base PR would be higher, meaning the the challenges that you face throughout the event will be a little less challenging uh, compared to if you were to run with a brand new racer and a brand new car. So if you want the challenge, obviously go with the brand new one. But at the end, it might end up costing you a bit more if you get stuck. You know what I mean? So if you pick another team with the, you know, already driver level relatively not maxed out, I wouldn't recommend running with a maxed out team because then you, the event itself might be easier, but you're not going to gain as much in return. Um, certainly your driver XP from the event won't be, you know, I mean, that'll be all wasted because if you're maxed out, you're maxed out. You're not earning anything anymore. And uh, if you end up needing to buy any tuning setups, if you're, uh, team principles maxed out then well that's going to waste as well and uh, yeah more so with the team principal xp i i feel like is the one that you have to strategize a little bit more so because you know each tuning setup you buy your team principal earns 150 xp so that's uh that's important <laughs> and the perks are fully upgraded uh, team principal is the being able to switch uh, tuning setups without weight or cost. So that's definitely a nice perk and a double uh, service duration. So both are really useful. So yeah, um, so this one will start on 21st of January. And if you complete it within seven days, you win a car and uh tuning setup if you uh, plus the 75 gold and 200,000 motorsport dollars is what they have um, mentioned in their release notes so uh, speaking of release notes in the last event at um, the Catalonia there was a discrepancy between what they have mentioned in their uh, release note and what game actually paid out so if you completed that event, uh, you should, um, you know, like in the game, you only receive like 50 gold as opposed to 100 that's uh, promised in a way. And uh, 200 motorsport dollars as opposed to 400 that was uh, mentioned in the, on their site. So uh, the other day, I just received a little splash screen with the notice from fire monkeys basically saying like they're gonna they they just credited my account with the discrepancy so i got extra 50 gold and extra 200,000 motorsport dollars so if you completed it and if you don't receive if you haven't received the the credit for 
the discrepancy, then uh, I would say contact the fire monkeys. Uh, you know, file a trouble ticket and ask them for the compensation. So, yeah. Um, and let's see. I've completed in both of my accounts and I've received it on one account, the one that I finished first. So we'll see if the one that I finished later, <laughs> uh, if I get credit as well. If I don't, you know, I, I will be asking them for the, the money. Yes. So, yeah. So that's the first um, big news in the new update here. Let's continue on. A new car, McLaren 765 Longtail. Right, the latest in the McLaren's iconic Longtail line, the 765 LT comes to real racing. Take it for a spin and earn it for yourself in a new five-day special event, Longtail Legacy. All right, I believe this one is kind of one of those um, like race day event or track day event. So what that means is you are able to run through like all five stages, I believe. Since they say five day, usually it's kind of equivalent to five stages. Um, you can run through all of them. You don't have to wait between stages like normal uh, special events. But normal special events typically just have recommended PR. Meaning, if you're good, you can finish without getting as many upgrades. But in this case, uh, this one doesn't have a required PR, meaning you need to buy upgrades. And that number is 72.8. You earn the car itself, of course, 75 gold and 300,000 racing dollars. And if you're wondering um, how much would it cost to bring your PR uh, meet the PR requirement. Well, this car's PR, uh, base PR is 61.5. When it's maxed out, it goes all the way up to 76.5. So 72.8 is, you know, usual. Uh, I'm assuming, since this is going to be a road collection car, uh, probably three upgrades across the board. Uh, the car's cost is 650 gold, and reward is going to be another 75 gold. So, if I go with the trend from the past, upgrade cost to meet the PR requirement is going to be roughly 350 gold. It's going to be my guess. Uh, with the tier 1 and tier 3 upgrades being all racing dollars and tier 2 being the gold. You know, I don't see why they will deviate from that at the moment since they've been kind of doing it for a while. Make it a little bit more predictable in terms of cost so you can kind of you know plan it out a little bit more so and the car itself will be featured in a new limited time not li well uh new bonus series in the road collection section called international super coupe challenge and you will find that under uh elite section and the same series features uh porsche 911 gt3 rs the new one from 2018, the good one, <laughs> the expensive one, and Ford GT from 2017, and this uh, McLaren 765 LT. And uh, that series will have 75 gold uh, and 75,000 uh, racing dollars as 100% completion reward. And that series requires PR 75.8. My guess is this 765 long tail is most likely going to be the only car that can meet that PR requirement. We'll see. Um, and the event itself will run from the... Basically, as soon as you download the new version 9.1, and it will run through uh, January 20th. So before the first... Um, before the... Singapore Grand Prix event starts. So, yeah, pretty cool. Moving on, another new car, Lamborghini Essenza SCV12. All right, so this one, I believe, is going to be another limited time series car. 
Uh, meet the Lamborghini Senza SCV12, uh, hyper rare, hyper stylish, track only hypercar. Only 40 of these exist in the world, so don't miss your chance to grab one for yourself in real racing. And unlike in uh, the real world, in the game, we all get one. <laughs> So I have a feeling there's more than 40 of you guys playing this game. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. So what is this going to be all about? Well, there's going to, uh, this is going to be, as I said, a limited time series, you know, the 15th tier, uh, with the PR requirement, you have a set date, right? One of those events, the Lamborghini Isenza SCB 12 championship. And uh, let's see, the, when it's going to run is from January 28th through February 3rd. So that is, what, about a week, right? Uh, which is pretty typical run for these limited time series. Uh, upon completing, of course, you get to win the car. And 100 gold and 350,000 racing dollars. They are really uh, rolling back on how much racing dollars they pay out in these uh, limited time series, I'm noticing. Uh, they all assume that you got access amount anyway. PR requirement is 84. Um, let's see. And how much would it cost to meet the PR requirement on this guy? Well, this car is Base PR starts at 69.3 and goes all the way up to 88.9. And the car's cost, if you're to buy it outright, is 750 gold. So with the reward of 100 gold, that brings the total up to 850. Cut that in half, you get about like 425. So around 400 gold is what I'm going to... Uh, anticipate the cost of meeting the PR requirement to win this car. So yeah, out of two cars, two limited time series, uh, you if you want to win both, you will have to shell out uh, close to like 700 some gold compared to the past. That's actually uh, not as expensive in uh, terms of gold cost for owning all the new car in a version. But then again, of course, we have um, the Grand Prix events where they're starting to require that we spend some gold. But the nice thing about that is you can use a car that already has enough gold uh, that you've spent. So uh, one way that I'm beginning to see the game with a different currency is number one, racing dollars, as you all know, are relatively useless after you get to a certain point, <laughs> right? Um, gold, essentially, is uh, something that you get to keep permanently. Uh, anything that you buy with gold ends up being more or less permanent in the game. You can reuse it in a new series and so on. Ra uh, motorsport dollars are more temporary. So anything that you buy with the motorsport dollars... Um, are, you know, like in-game, yes, like in motorsport section, you get to use different tuning setups, but the fact that there's a daily cap on that currency of how much you can earn, and uh, let's see, um, the fact that you spend on those things on a new event, you they are, you know, gone for the new Grand Prix event, right, with a new tuning setup, so they become a little bit... Uh, more temporary, you know what I mean? So anyway, with this car, there is a dedicated limited uh, bonus series, once again, in the elite section of the road collection called Lamborghini Essenza, or Essenza Extravaganza, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love the pun? Um, or the silly rhymes. Anyway, so that's just going to be a single car bonus series uh, featuring this one. Uh, rewards, 73 gold and 73,000 racing dollars. And the PR requirement to 100% complete that series will be 87.1. All right. So, um... Yeah, considering that uh, you have 
your PR up to 84, most likely you'd probably be able to go through 75% of that uh, bonus series once you win this card through limited time series. Pretty typical. Moving on, what do we have? Two outstanding Formula One events, All right? We got the Singapore Airline Singapore Grand Prix and the United States Grand Prix. Well, so as I was saying earlier, Singapore Grand Prix runs from, uh, well, starts on January 21st is when it's first available. Then the series itself will remain in the game uh, as far as I can tell for the foreseeable future. So you can uh, complete it at any point. But uh, if you start it right away, I think you will have that three-hour instant service, instant uh, R&D on tuning setups available to you. So makes the process go a little bit quicker. So that would be, um, that's one of the, I guess, reason to do it while the event is somewhat relevant, you know, within, like before the next one kicks in, right? Because that's how they time the, when that instant service offer expires. So if you wait till the February 7th, when the United States Grand Prix starts, uh, once that one unlocks, the instant offer on Singapore Grand Prix will be gone. So something to keep in mind, right? And uh, the thing about the instant service and the basically instant offers, they apply to every Formula One 2020 season car on every event. So if you have some outstanding um, Formula One 2020 season events, Grand Prix events, technically what you can do is because um, like last like Spanish Grand Prix, most of you guys probably were able to complete it under three hours. Uh, I was. If, uh, when I sat down and just ran right through, I was able to complete it uh, within about two hours or so. So you have extra hour left on that offer. So if you are, if you have some outstanding uh, Grand Prix events, what you can do is use that one hour to at least get started on, or you know, if you're in the middle of another Grand Prix events, you can take advantage of that one hour extra that you have available to you, right? So. Um, that's one strategy on taking advantage of those, uh, instant offers. So, um, like for example, I, on one of my other accounts, I did combine, let's see, uh, which two did I combine? I did Yas Marina and Italian Grand Prix at the same time, um, uh, more or less. So, you know. That's, uh, I wasn't able to complete both events within three hours, but, um, I was able to take advantage of that instant tuning and instant service for majority of both events, which was very handy. So something to keep in mind. All right. And a historic icon, right? MP44. Yes. Senna's very own, right? Legendary. Formula One racer from the 80s, right? H powered by Honda, yes. Uh, if you already own this car, you know what it's like. Uh, it's the old-fashioned Formula One car handling, so it can be a little bit tricky. It's a lot more um, difficult to handle this car. Uh, if you completed the Monaco Grand Prix, you had one goal where you had to race this car on a head-to-head. -head. So you might already have a little bit of experience even if you don't own this car. So um, if you don't own it, upon completing all nine Grand Prix events from 2020 season, you are gifted this car for free, which is pretty cool. And if you already own this car, uh, well, then you already own it. But upon 100% completing essentially all nine Grand Prix events from 2020 season, uh, you will have access to a separate, uh, sort of like a bonus series in the Formula One 
section, the 2020 Formula One Grand Prix season. Sort of like this would be taking place of the, you know, remember 2019? We got a bonus of the safety car, right? Mercedes. And it had uh, its own series tagged on at the end. This is kind of kind of take place of that for 2020 season. So once you complete all uh, nine Grand Prix events, it will unlock MP44 World Tour Series in the 2020 Formula One Grand Prix Special Events section. Uh, the total rewards is gold, 74 gold, and 74,000 racing dollars because this car, um, even though the series itself is going to be showing up in the motorsport, I think, I mean, in the motorsport section, I think. Um, or it might show up in the road collection. I don't know for sure. We'll find out once we complete all nine um, Grand Prix events. The This car currently is featured in the legend section of the road collection in a border series called um, MP44 Historia. I think that's what it was called. I do have a playthrough of that series, at least partially, because I haven't completed it yet. <laughs> I should. That's a good series. This is a fun car. A bit nerve-wracking to race these old Formula One cars, though, uh, because at slow speed, without the downforce, um, it gets really, really slippery. So, you know, you have to know which corners you can take, um, like, flat out, because then you will be gaining extra grip from the downforce, which helps you make the corner without skidding. Uh, versus if you are being careful and if you slow down, you will skid out at a lower speed. So it's got a very uh, interesting uh, dynamics going on when you're racing one of these cars. So fun. So anywho, so that's exciting. And along with the new Lambo, the Isenza SCV12, we got two older Lambos featured in this version with the limited time series. So if you don't own either of these other cars, this is another um, opportunity to win them. So we got the Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo. Um, this was originally a limited time series car as well, I think, if I remember correctly. But anyway... Uh, this for the hurricane, it'll run from February 4th through February 8th. So that's about the span of just five days. Pretty short limited time series. Uh, PR requirement to complete it, 67.3. And of course, you'll win the car plus 35 gold this time around and 250,000 racing dollars. And the other, I believe the last limited time series or last special event in this 9.1 is going to be Lamborghini Veneno Championship. That car's been in the game forever and it is a very pricey car. Um, you guys heard probably heard me rant about that in the past if you're used to my channel. Uh, anyway, the limited time series will run from 9th of February to 15th of February and PR requirement to complete it. 84.6 payout is going to be the car, 85 gold, and 500,000 racing dollars. All right, and along with that, we got two new exclusive series from the car, the new cars from the last version, right? We got the Valkyrie and the, the 10th anniversary car of Real Racing 2, the Corvette C6R GT2. So if you fully upgrade those cars, you will have access to uh, the exclusive series featuring those cars. Valkyrie exclusive series pays out 250 gold and 500,000 racing dollars as a reward for 100% completing. Considering the upgrade cost, that is a bit of a slap in the face, isn't it? Maybe they have some um, long format race in that series. We'll see. Because the bonus series is a little bit on a disappointing side, if you ask me. Anyway, and the Corvette C6R GT2 exclusive series payout is going to be 75 gold and 150,000 racing dollars. All right. And along with that, we're going to have a time trial competition 
we race as one and as long as you post the time you will win some gold rewards as you know with the time trial competitions uh, and it's gonna be using the 2020 season Formula One cars plus the Academy car and for the effort what you get is gonna be uh, along with uh, some gold depending on your rank uh, you get to win a special livery right for the Academy car and that one's gonna run from January 27th through February 10th so you'll have plenty of time to get in there and let's see new cars oh look at that we got a limited time sale on the mercedes-benz slr mclaren 722 uh, we'll worry about that another time and sure i need to get additional contents here all right so here's the one of the two new cars the first one that we need senza scv12 uh, top speed 298 kph, acceleration 2.7 seconds, braking distance 28.3 meters, and the grip of 1.6 g. Base PR 69.3, and it's gonna say, yeah, it's locked. Um, and the limited time series starting February 3rd. All right, that's a day earlier than wait oh i am oh after the limited time expires is when you can buy it right in your career and look at that somebody already owns it how did they pull that off i don't know time traveling maybe all right and here's the second of the two new cars mclaren 765 lt uh does that have actually a higher top speed? Yeah, 330 kph. And then 2.7 seconds for acceleration, which is uh, identical to the Lambo. And the braking distance, 28.5. So slightly longer than the Lambo. And then 1.4 G, so a little bit lower grip than the Lambo. I know, they're not in the same series, so it's somewhat irrelevant comparison here. With a base PR of 61.5. And since this one is the first event looks like uh tom you guys already completed this and won this car look at that cool all right so that is those are some new contents in the new version and let's check into uh, what's available here so all right so yeah marina bay in Champion Series is just tagged on at the very end with a seven, tier 17 for the variety events and then uh, tier 19 for or tier 18 for the time trial there. So that's uh, cool. Nice to have that already available. And let's see. Special Grand Prix. All right. So those are the, that's the Singapore, that's the US. Grand Prix events and uh, ah there you go mp44 world tour that is the series that will unlock upon completing all nine Grand Prix events of 2020 season and let's see did they add the new tiers they sure did we got Marina Bay available in Invitational uh, Catalonia has been added Red Bull Ring has been added and Monaco has been added. So that's pretty cool. How many laps do we get at Monaco? I am curious. Uh, eight lapper. About what I expected. So that's pretty cool. And then is that a five lap and another three lapper? All right. Good to know. And then Red Bull Ring. Do we get a uh, eight lapper? Okay. So they are going with a... 358 format it looks like on here and then how about marina ve uh catalonia do we get the same kind of treatment i guess we'll find out eight laps five laps and three laps there and how about the new marina bay i don't see why it would be any different 
And this one's gonna take some extra download here. <laughs> At some point. Seems we're stuck. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Almost there. One more megabyte. There we go. All right. So that's a eight lapper, five lapper, and three lapper. All right. So those are the, some new contents in the Invitational or uh, Formula One in general. And uh, let's see the other new stuff along with this track day event as I was anticipating. Uh, what else do we have? We got some new stuff in road collection under elite section and uh, as I said the new two new exclusive series right so I wouldn't have access to those exclusive series because those cars in my garage are not fully upgraded but uh, let's check out what's uh, what's in this one what do we have now we're stuck at 85% download we should have those two new bonus series uh, Senza Extravaganza for the Lambo and International Super Coupe Challenge for the McLaren let's see where they show up all right come on i my guess is they just tag on at the end they sure did and if you own looks like uh those cars the other two cars you already have access to the international super coupe challenge and uh essenza extravaganza obviously you will need to um win that car first because it's a single car bonus series what do we have here International Super Coupe Challenge, three of the finest two-door supercars battle for supremacy across the globe. And uh, yeah, as I said, this series requires PR 75.8. I wonder if either of the cars that I, the other, the older cars that I have can get anywhere near. So my Porsche is fully upgraded with a PR 72.6. So that's certainly uh, under 75.8 required so that's no contender and uh, Ford GT currently as 70.9 I don't know if uh, fully upgrading this car will get me to 75.8 my guess is doubtful because I only have seven more upgrades available on this car and I am off by almost five whole PR points and uh, yeah seven upgrades ain't giving you five PR points or 4.9 to be exact so as I was anticipating the McLaren the new car is gonna be the only contender to 100% complete this bonus series as you might expect with the first 25% giving you the nine gold as a reward and the new exclusive series we got the Aston Martin Valkyrie and Corvette C6 R GT2 so let's check those out real quick um, I mean I'm not gonna be able to quite have access to either series so um, maybe I shouldn't bother <laughs> It's not like I can check out the well you know what once I get the cars fully upgraded I'll have the you know series rundown as you know um, and I will find not in that section right that's for the cars that you don't own so let's keep going Valkyrie's got to be one of the last cars yes Valkyrie I have seven upgrades out of 28 available since I won that car more or less for free just a few racing dollars right so that's got long way to go before having access to that bonus series and then the other one Corvette where are you C6 R GT2 I got 21 out of 28 upgrades so I'm seven upgrades short of unlocking that bonus series because that was a limited time series car from last version so that's why we have more 
uh, upgrades on that car. But for now, I think that'll do it for what's available, what to expect in the new version. So I know video went on for a while here. So thanks if you're still with me. Thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.